In this video, we're going to focus on the viewer question about how we can use double clicks. And basically, what I'm going to do is if you click here single time on these bars, nothing happens. But if I double click on this, it automatically jumps to a website. So this functionality is probably not always very practical, but might be in some cases necessary. So let's start to explore how we can use a double click in the canvas in ChartJS. In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewers' questions, which is how to use double click in ChartJS. And this question came from one of my YouTube videos, but sadly enough, I cannot find a comment anymore. However, I was able to retrieve it on the email. And this is a comment from Mr. Firebeard. So a special thank you to Mr. Firebeard for asking the question. And this is what Mr. Firebeard asked. Is there a possibility of a double click in charges. I heard of this function, but I can't find something about it and how it works. I think it should work like on click. Well, the answer is yes, it should work like on click and uh, um, in charges, just to be sure that you understand, in charges, there's like an on click. You can do an on click like in JavaScript, but there's also an on click in charge in charge itself. So this one is a built in functionality which doesn't work, of course, with all, we say double click, but this one would work, uh, but a JavaScript default would work. However, let's start and work on it and make something. First thing what I want you to do is to go to the website, charges3.com, getting started. In here, we're going to grab a link, and you might notice this here. You can ignore this for some reason. Google Chrome is giving me this error. And then what I want to do here is basically copy this entire text. Once we copy this, I'm going to paste it in here. And then I'm going to cut out this and just put it in there. And what we're going to do is basically create a clickable item. So when we when you are here, we want to make these bars clickable on double click instead of single click. But I'll be honest with you, double click is probably not really a useful functionality, or at least in my opinion. Maybe there are other ways that you want to use that might work. If that's the case, go ahead. Of course, I have nothing to say about that. But for me, I would not be able to imagine what exactly would be a proper item to use. Anyway, that being said, let's continue on. So what we need to do here, first of all, is this. We're going to create a new constant. And this constant will be called the CTX. And the reason why I'm doing this, because I want to cut out this, and put in here CTX, and there. And the reason for this is basically, now we are able to register clicks and double clicks on our uh, canvas. This is very important because if you only put it all together here, it will trigger everything, including this and then this, of course, and etc. etc. So it will make it very complicated for us. And we don't want this. What we want to do is first of all, when we are mouse over on an item and then we click on it, it should identify which bar we selected. And what I want to do then is if we select a specific bar, we open up a website. And for now, I will not spend much time on that functionality or on different website. I have another video for that. I will show you at the very end that you can combine together. So what we're going to do here is basically build the uh, double click functionality. To do this, we need to get here first this one. And then what I want to do here, I just want to put in some enters. All right. Let me say here CTX dot. And then all I want here is basically to uh, do an on double. And, you, and to spell double is D B L and then click. So this is the double click functionality. Now what happened now, if we do this, uh, what we want to do then here is basically trigger a function. I will call this function very simple, double click. And once we have this, you'll see here now, we have triggered something nice. And I make, oh, sorry, I don't want that. No, I want to be here above, just above here, the function. Let me say here, function, and then for now, just for simplicity's sake, we're going to say here um, console.log. And then we say here, yes. And this, of course, should be click to, meaning click, click, or double click, something like that. So if I save this, it should trigger something. Now, let's see if this ready start to work. If I click, click, all right. Of course, right now, it just clicks and it responds no matter where you click on. Of course, this is not what we want. We want to be very specific only on the bars. So to do this, what we need to do here is use another functionality. So what we're going to do here, we're going to create a new constant. And this constant we can call the points or the click place where we click on. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to use a specific API uh, functionality from Chart.js, yes, the built-in. We're going to say first my chart, which is basically the concept is the canvas ID. And then, so if we click on it, what we want to do here, we want to do the following. We want to get the elements at event for mode. So basically what it says is the following. We want to get an element wherever we click on. So at the event, and the event here is now the double click. And the elements are referring to these bars here, pies, pie chart, donut chart, whatever you want. We could even do the donut chart, it's fine as well. So what we want to do then here, now we have to specify this. So first of all, what is the event? Well, in this case, it's a click, it's a double click. So we do this one, is this, and this could be anything. You could say here, click, or event that's very common that you see like this and here event but i would say you just click to is for now a very descriptive item so then what we want to say comma and then what we want to do is the following when we click what element do we want to select well if you click on here we want to grab the nearest element meaning the one where we are basically inter uh, intersecting and intersect means like a crossing where we cross or intersects basically we're crossing this specific point it's same like the tooltip here the moment we hover over it here if we intersect with this element and then the tooltip is triggered as you can see here and if we move away even a tiny pixel at that moment you can see it disappears and appears all right so that's what we call an intersect the moment we hit it on so we say here nearest nearest would mean is which item are we near to so that would make sense. If you're on the black one, it should be this specific item. So then we say here, comma, and then we do here object destructuring, and then we say here intersect, remember, colon, and then we say here, this will be true. So nearest on intersect. So if you are near there, we should intersect it. That's the case. If it's true, here again, put in true, then we want to do something. So if this is the case, what I want to do then is uh, in the points where well, you can see here we're going to do this we say points uh, we can just say if there would be any length or like, oh, wait, oh let me show you this let's do here the console log points console log and then we say here, points dot length so if I save this now you will see we will get a length here if you double click here all right, points is not defined. All right, fair enough. Uh, and the reason why it's not defined because it's not points; it's points. It's singular. Sorry about that. Refresh. If I click here, it triggers, but length equals zero. If I click here, it triggers and length one, length one, length one, length one, and then if I'm here, zero, one, zero. So it knows. However, you can see if I only click once, it just doesn't work. If I click double, then it starts to trigger. So now you can imagine what we want to do here, of course, is maybe put in a link. So what I'm going to do here is just a very easy way to do it. So if, and then we say here the length, well, I'll make it very simple. If, if point equals length zero, or no, not equal length zero, if point array zero, meaning that there's one value on there, which is the bar. So this is correct because an array starts with zero, it's zero base counting, that's why the first element is zero so if there's a element in that case i want to say yes and else we don't do anything so now double click here we are double click here double click nothing happens click here if i click here one 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 doesn't work but double click double click double click all right so now it works you already figure it out now so then here what we can do here is very simple let's do a window dot open and then what we want to open is our fantastic website https and then we say www.charjs3.com we save this now and then refresh if i click once you see it doesn't work double click there we are so then it starts to load nicely charjs3.com beautiful so this is basically the way you can do it of course it's a quick warning here don't duplicate this Let's say we do here single click. So this will be on click. And uh, well, you might say, well, we just duplicate this. Put it down here. And then we say this will be just single click. And then what is the name here? On click. And this will be, uh, let's say, single click. Single click. 
This should be maybe chartjs.org. And then we are in a single click. So if I save this now, refresh, if I do single click, what happens? It goes to chartjs.org. So that's fine. Now double click. Double click is not being registered and it's still considered it as a single click. So if I click on this as many times as possible, it still keeps on going as here. So this is very important. Don't combine them together. So you have to really consider what is suitable with this. Maybe there's a reason for that if you want to have a double click, but this is basically very important. So if you enjoyed this video, I have another video as well that goes really in how we can play around with this to add specific uh, links based on the, the data here, which I highly recommend as well, because it will be, be based on this, but not only on this, it will create a data structure. Data structures are very, very important. And this is the video, basically linkable bar chart with link in chart.js. Absolutely a item I would recommend you to watch as well.